They're calling it the Great Resignation. More than 4 million Americans quitting their job every single month. Why? Because people are just now waking up to the fact that their job is keeping them broke. In this video, I'll show you the three ways your job keeps you broke, and none of them have anything to do with your spending habits. Worse yet, I'll show you how that 9 to 5 mentality ruins your life. Then I'll share three things you can do right now to change all this and reveal a simple step-by-step -step checklist for creating that financial future you deserve. We're talking true financial freedom today on Let's Talk Money. Hey Bowtie Nation, Joseph Hogue here with the Let's Talk Money channel, and you know I gotta send that special shout out to all you out there in the nation. Thank you for spending a part of your day to be here. If you're not part of that community yet, just click that little red subscribe button. It's free and you'll never miss an episode. Nation, us old timers remember a song by Tennessee Ernie Ford called 16 Tons about a hard working coal miner stuck in back breaking work day in and day out, each day deeper in debt than the day before. And I love the song, but the tragedy is it's become a theme song for tens of millions of workers. Ask yourself, for all your work, are you better off financially than you were last month or even last year? Do you feel like you're getting ahead or just barely keeping up from drowning in bills. Now go online and all you hear is the blame game, or how you need to fix your spending habits or shaming you into that minimalist lifestyle of ramen noodles and cheap furniture. The truth is, it's not about budgeting or about bad spending habits. The simple fact is your job sucks. And before those three steps you can take right now to change all this, I want to reveal three ways your job is keeping you broke and, and not just keeping you broke, but ruining your life. But first here, I want to get your input on this as well. Do you feel like you get paid enough for, for what you do? Are you happy with your job or do you feel like you're kind of stuck? So scroll down and let me know in the comments below just to get a feel for where everyone is at on this. And first here, your job locks you into a cage with that 9 to 5 mentality. Now having a job, especially if it pays just enough to cover the bills, traps you into a way of thinking. You go to that job you hate every day, you're miserable for 8 hours a day, a third of your life, but you put up with it because, well, that's just how it is. And nobody likes their job, right? But they do it because it makes money, which you can use for things that you do like, like jet skis. Another way your job keeps you broke, though, is it takes away all the other options. The longer you stay in that job, the harder it is to transition into something else, something you might actually enjoy. Employers are going to see 15 years as a sewer inspector and Wonder if you have the skills necessary to be in the FBI. Wait, not that FBI. You can't just quit your job because you need the money, but every day you stay makes it impossible to do something else. And finally here, before I show you how to change all this, but that traditional job takes away all the control and the earning power out of your hands. Your boss sets the wage and the hours. They tell you how much of a wage increase you get each year, if any, and they tell you how to do the job. That safety of the 9 to 5 is nice, but most people just don't realize what they give up in exchange. They lock the door to their own cage. And because how much you work means nothing to how much you make, you just stop working. You become a desk zombie because it really doesn't matter anyway. And that not only keeps you a slave to low pay, but it makes you miserable, frustrated, and just in a bad mood. Now turning this all around isn't as simple as just quitting your job because money does buy happiness because food to survive and jet skis are happiness. So you need to make money, but there is a way to do that. So let's look at the three things you can do right now to break out of that 9 to 5 mentality. First is to start creating opportunities in your current job. And this might not sound like a break from where you're at, but it's going to be critical to the rest of this plan and, and the checklist to quitting that I'll share later. The idea here is to map out the career paths at your current job or even within the broader industry, whether it's at your company or a competitor. Is there a place you can go where you're going to enjoy the work and get paid better? And you can do this no matter where you work. Maybe you're flipping burgers now, but you'd rather be running the company. Howard Putnam started as a baggage handler at 17, and now he runs Southwest Airlines. Walmart CEO Doug McMillan started loading trucks at the distribution center earning $6.50 an hour. Now he makes over $22 million a year. The point is, if you know where you want to go in the company and then work like it's your own business, you're going to be amazed at how fast your outlook improves. Not only will you make more money, but you're going to take back that control of your work and feel better about your job. And now why I say to do this first is because it's really the path of least resistance. You've already got the job. Now give this a year while you're working on these next two steps, and if you still want to quit, then you're going to be set up to do just that. Second is you need to start building passive income sources. Now these are business ideas or investments that are going to continue to cash flow even if you stop working. And this is going to do two things for you. 
First, it gives you an out and an income that you can keep growing with little or no effort. More importantly though, it frees you from depending on any crap job to pay the bills. If you've got enough passive income coming in to pay at least some of your bills, you're not chained to that job for just the paycheck. Now the problem is, these aren't something that are gonna cash flow overnight. These are income sources like online businesses that cost nothing to start but might take up to a year before you're making enough to pay the bills. And that means you need to get started on one of these now. I recently did a video on nine passive income ideas that will pay your rent. Nine income streams anyone can start and with details on each. So I'll link to that in the video description below. Third here, before I give you that step-by-step -step checklist, is to start a side hustle for that immediate cash flow. Now this is gonna be different from those passive income ideas that you start because these make money immediately and they're easier to start. With these, you can set your own hours, maybe only working five hours a week from home and, and they're gonna start building your savings. And that's gonna give you more flexibility to quit your job if you want, or to invest in some of those passive income business ideas that, that are gonna create more cash flow. I'll also link in the description below to another video that details my favorite side hustles and how to get started. Now you've got those three steps, and I wanna bring this all together with a simple checklist for quitting your job and putting yourself on that path to financial freedom. First, and this goes back to really looking at your job, ask yourself if there's a path at your company that you can be happy in? This is the first question and has to be because not everyone needs to make that big change just to be happy. Next, if the answer to that first question was no, then you need to find that path to something you enjoy doing. And the generic answer here is always to look at your hobbies and what you enjoy doing, but I wanna give you a more direct answer. Open up the browsing history on your internet by clicking on the three little dots in the top right corner and then to history, which is gonna show you all the websites you visited. Uh, maybe do this part when nobody else is in the room and just scroll through. This is gonna show you exactly how you like to spend your time, your interests, and give you ideas. So you're gonna take those ideas and then find out how people are making money doing them. And believe me, there is a way to make money doing just about anything. If you like underwater basket weaving, there are people that are gonna pay you to learn about that. So here you're just exploring some of the ways that people make money on that, whether it's producing content through a blog or videos, a consulting in the topic, or even some kind of traditional work in that industry. Your path might even start with a lower paying job just to get you in that field you enjoy, but this is where those other steps, the passive income and the side hustles is gonna help you do that. Fourth here is gonna be revisiting those passive income and side hustle ideas. Starting over in a new job or a completely different field doesn't have to mean living off ramen noodles or moving back in with your parents. Remember, you're doing this over a year, which may seem like a long time if you absolutely hate your job, but a year is nothing if it means you can change your life and be happy. And finally, that year is gonna give you the time to become an expert in this new area. New research has debunked the idea that you need 10,000 hours of practice to master something, but you still wanna hit the ground running when you get started. For mastering any subject, focus on those different levels of learning. Now that means first reading about it, then being able to explain it in your own words, and finally thinking critically. This is gonna involve not just that passive, but active learning and critical thinking. Click on the video to the right to get started with those nine passive income ideas, nine income streams that are gonna pay your rent. Don't forget to join the Let's Talk Money community by tapping that subscribe button and clicking the bell notification.